Okay, I'm just gonna, these are my smaller knives. I'm just going to go from, uh, this knife is Extreme Ratio, probably a clone. I bought it at a store that later I found out sells mainly clones. But it was one of my first knives. I thought it was cool. Way overpriced. Very uncomfortable because of that thing there. I'm guessing there is a way to hold it. It's the Extreme Ratio. I have this, which is like a pruning knife I got from AliExpress. Thought it was a cool shape. Got it. Kind of like it sometimes when I'm doing garden work. Um, cheap knife, you know. I can give someone if they ask for a knife, I can give them this tiny thing and really hope they lose it. I thought it was wood. When you see in the picture on this side, it looked wood. It's just plastic scales and a cheap blade. Um, no. This is from a company called Bosidon. I've seen them. They're on and off on Chinese sites. They're actually pretty decent. I have a few knives from them. There was the other, you know, I have, uh, these dagger shaped pocket knives are from them. I have it in black and in orange. It has these like lion things on it. Um, I have two of these key knives, one I got from a friend, one my sister gave me, they just, you know, look like keys, have a blade on them, not sharp, but you can sharpen them, the uh, Leatherman Skeletal KBX, which uh, I have a review on, I don't know if it's going to be out by the time I put out this video, but I have a review on this one, um, this is, I believe, the Spyderco um, UK PK, it's a slip joint that a good friend of mine, Owen Yakovi, made a really nice blade for. I call this one the um, Mini Bigfoot because it's small. It, it, it's a three-finger knife, but it, it, that cleaver style, it's, it's a, I don't know what to say. I like the knife. I carry it a lot. It's a pretty decent blade. Um, this knife, again, another cheap knife has a spider on it these knives are mainly from points before i really got serious uh the bear grill scout again i believe these two i actually believe are clones because i didn't, don't know if bear grill actually makes these size knives um but again it's from the same guy who gave me the other knife the other bear grills he gave me a bunch of these crappy little stuff and i got rid of a bunch of them I have um, the Chris Reeves Sebenza, which this knife is to remind me to buy the clones and the fakes because I bought the real one and I paid like sixty, like fifty dollars shipping on it. And when it came here, I realized it's too small. I don't like it. I um, sold it and I had to pay again. People were buy second market on those knives is close to the original price, but I have to pay like fifty dollars shipping extra just to get it to the states. So. It's to remind me to check knives before I buy them. Um, Cold Steel Recon 1 Mini, I think, or Micro. Micro in uh, Spear Point. I'll get the... Uh, I have friends who really like the uh, Tanto. I might try that one out. This is a um, Senren Mew A123. They have three different sizes of it. I had this one also in my slip joint video. It's a great little slip joint knife and you can get it, it bigger I think this is the smallest size they have of it here's another Senren Mew this one is the uh, 6D20 this one has a bottle opener looks kind of like the Cricut I believe really nice little knife um, again cold steel tough light just a great knife I don't I did a review on it I'm probably gonna do a secondary review because I really like it I also have the um, Tough Light Mini with a serrated blade. Um, Gerber Paraframe Mini in a Tanto. Another uh, San Ren Mew. This one is a locking blade and it has a uh, bottle opener, can opener tool. And I, when I got it, I really liked it. Now I'm like kind of over this knife. It's a cheap knife. It was like 10 bucks. Um, this knife I got at a flea market. I got it just to practice sharpening. 
and then start practicing on other knives because I never got because I lost it and I recently found it when I moved. Um, this is a Lingual, a Leclerc. I think I'm saying it proper. It's like a French traditional knife. This is the uh, mini keychain size. I also have here the real size, the real uh, full size. A lot of different handle materials. It's a nice, like, traditional classic knife. Again, this is the Lingual. This knife, I believe, belonged to my grandfather. All it says on it is Germany, and there is a picture of a whale. I don't know anything other than that about it. It has a plastic with a dog on it. Uh, again, a cheap Chinese knife. This knife, I got a bunch of them as gifts, and mine is just the tip snip. This is a, what is this? This is a Senren Mew. I don't remember the model number. 4125? 4112, sorry. 4112. And it comes in a few different colors. It's a small, really small. It's like a two-finger blade, no, two and a half fingers. Really good for a keychain knife, but it does have a pocket clip. Then I'm coming to these. These are the uh, also Senren Mew 7065s. I have the uh, light wood, the stainless steel version, and in this leather slip, I have the uh, dark wood version. I have this tiny, tiny knife. It's like a um, straight razor. It's made of Damascus steel. It's HX Outdoors, that's all I know about it. It's the copper handle, really nice. This, which is like a electrician's blade, also got off of uh, AliExpress. This one I got from a friend. It's a um, it's a knife that's made for I don't know what the word is in English, but it's where you attach two plants to get a third one or to strengthen the tree. So you have a blade and a uh, like a splitting tool it's for gardening and agriculture now um opinel number eight this is the camping version or survival version they have a few of them they have this like ferro rod and striker this one just has the serrated blade and a whistle and it's a plastic a plastic composite handle this is an Opinel number seven. Stainless steel. Most of these are stainless steel. Here's a uh, number eight. I have the number eight and the number seven for if I ever decide I want to, um, you know, redesign the handle, which I've done on several knives and sold. This is again. This is a number eight that I uh, did some work on the handle, gave it a uh, different shape and a finger choil, so you could actually open the blade real easy, have like a pinching grip. And I tapered the handle down so it's a little more comfortable in the hand. This is known as a bamboo knife from AliExpress. It's a cheap knife. It used to say something on the blade. I've had it for years. Never got rid of it. This is a traditional um, electrician's knife. It's made by Clean Tools in Chicago, USA. It's about all I know about it. It has a knife and it has this tool, which is really hard to get out. We'll take like a scraper, screwdriver. This is also, and here you have like a wire stripping area. Have there like a finger for if you're, uh, you know, going into something, give you a little more torque. Now, what's neat about this one is there's a copper liner lock, but it locks the multi tool, not the knife. And of course, your old style dangler. Uh, MAM, uh, this is a Portuguese knife company. It's like the Opinel, but a Portuguese and has a lock. A little smaller, slimmer, I think a little safer, but also very thin blade. You know, same type of, you know, pocket knife use. Charade old timer. This is a uh, trapper. And I have the um, Barlow knife from Charade. I did videos talking about them. They're in a few videos. Then I have a Trapper design from Elkridge, which is a really nice knife. I mean, elegant. It's really elegant. 
I have a, a multi blade from Buck. This is the uh, Buck 373. You have a main blade, a, like a Spay blade, not spay, uh, sheep's foot and a spay, and a spay, and here I have another multi-blade one, this one is from Chinese size, as USA Classic, you have the sh four blades on it, two of them are the same, and you have like a uh, pen knife and uh, like a really sharp uh, sheep's foot, so that's basically all the knives I have in this drawer.